a full day today. We're about 18 miles from Honolulu right now. We're just pulling onto the banks. Breaker! Oh! oh. Oh, it's a small marlin. It's a small marlin. Well, we we're just pulling up to the banks and uh, first bite there pulled out the GoPro, but yeah, it looks like a spearfish or small striped marlin. That's yeah, either a small stripey or a spearfish. Oh. That was on the Brilla Malolo, the short rigger there. Good action over here the last couple days, so we headed this way. It's a little sloppy, 15, 20 knot winds, but not too bad over here. Uh, back one position here. You gotta do it, get that in the bucket, mate. So I think this is gonna be a spear fish. We released a lot of these, but if we're lucky enough to get this one up, we probably will take them. These guys want fish to eat, so that would get us off to a good start here, but it's coming up right here. Make sure you can turn off the Nice you don't have to go down and crank. Yeah, spearfish. Now lower your rod tip here, that'll help to keep him from jumping. Great job. Oh my gosh, look Eric. at that! Woo Good work. Woo! Little Barilla. Yep. A couple more cranks there. Right okay, be careful because he's got another hook in his mouth. Beauty. Look at that. Oh, That's a short bill spearfish. All right, well, good way to start there. Nice short bill spearfish. That's actually a pretty good size one. Probably 40 pounds, but came in, grabbed that short rigger, or just pulling up to the banks there, 160 fathoms, and he came in a bit. So we'll get line set back up. It's been good action over here the last couple of days. So we'll get on the ledge, take care of that guy, get him on ice, and get set back up here. All right, well, we just got off the ledge a little bit, 100 fathoms. There's some birds working, and we got a my my on. Not a real big one, maybe 10 pounder. Grab that same lure, Barella Malola. Okay, watch your feet behind you, okay? Because I'm going to open this box. Beauty. Nice job there. Beautiful. All right, 10 pound Mai Mai there on that Barella. On the short rigger, we'll set back up and go through there. There was some fairy turns and a booby working. Well, we turned back around here. We just had the center come down. Five inch flash with the Hawaiian Malolo bird on it. Oh no, coming down. Back up, calf. Okay, now, you wanna hand me that bat there, buddy? Okay, here, hold this, cause I gotta turn the boat. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome job, beautiful. This leader I gotta redo. Chin through the teeth, 100% looks free. All right, awesome. We were in 100 fathoms there, chasing those birds around. Coming back onto the ledge there, 100 fathoms we got. Got that bite. Five inch flash with that with that Hawaiian Malolo bird. Nice ono, about a 25 pounder. So get the lures back out, get that fish bled, and keep moving here. 
corner. My my. Throw that lure back behind you. Oh, we set back up. We got back into 40 fathoms, so we got a my my on. Coming down. Yeah, that'd be great. Come on. It's on the weight, too. Coming in. Huh? It's on the weight. Okay, well, then pass me the weight. You're going to have to gaff it. Okay. You gaff it? Gift your gaffs, yeah. Just pass me the weight, and I'll hold the weight okay. for you. Now leave leave that much room there. Oh. go back up nice job right, another my my there same size about a 10 pounder that was on the long corner which was nine inch bullet it's never mind lures and uh, we had the trolling lead on that to get it down a little bit I'll set back up keep going here all right another fish on here on the center we just got that rig back up and put back out about a minute later it came down the five inch flash with the twine malolo yeah let's go to that long corner because that's going to be an issue it's a big All right, coming up here. I think it's actually a my my. Beautiful, nice job. All right, another ten pound my my. We'll go right back through there. Set back up. Fish grab the long corner. That same. Never mind. Nine inch black bullet. I think it's gonna be an oh no. Ah, there we go. No, actually, sorry, that was down the third way. That's the corner. Yeah. Hang with me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good, good oh, one. Oh, that's great. It's either an oh no or a Okay. Coming up right here. Coming down. I'm gonna have to reach behind you there and just run the controls. Right there, right stop cranking, it, take that weight from him. Yep. Nice on him. Nice sono there, 35 pounder. Took a bunch of line, took probably 60 yards. And uh, we got him hung up under the swim step there a little bit when we were pulling him up. Luckily, I was able to get a gaff in him and pull him out. But yeah, that area we just went through, he's got a lot of bait. So we're gonna get set back up and make a bunch of laps through there. All right, well, we've been going down the ledge after getting that last sono and no bite. So we turned back around and uh, gonna go back up towards where we're having more action and we just had the center come down. Another nice bite. Coming up here another 20 yards. Couple more cracks. Oh it's a kava kava. Alright it ended up being a I got a 12 14 pound kava kava there. Keep moving. All right, we're getting off the ledge now. Gonna start heading back towards Honolulu. We had two more bites. We had an Ono bite that came off, and then we had another fish come in and hit the rigger in the center. Not quite sure exactly what it was, but didn't hook up. So we'll get back out in deep water, switch some lures around, see if we can get anything on the way home here. Real, real, real. I think it came off. Came off. That was a marlin. Well, we're at six miles. We just had a 
marlin bite there. The long rigger came down the Ahi P just in an aqua pile. And the aquas are running away from us, but yeah, we'll set back up. We got a couple miles here. We just pulled back into the aqua pile that we were chasing before we got that marlin bite. We got a little aqua on, probably just a couple pounder. Small aku on here, little feather. All right. Well, we'll get it in the boat. You know, another five pound aku there. We're gonna get set back up point for home here. Well, we're at four miles. We just had the rigger come down and the center come down. We had a small marlin back there. He knocked on the rigger, then I watched him come in, eat the center, and popped off. We were trying to tease him back. He came back a couple times, but never put the hooks in him. So we'll pull back through there real quick, see if we can get him to come back up. So I was fortunate to get to train with him and learn a lot. Uh, this one, I think, now that I'm handling it, it was 40. All right, here's some of that spearfish from yesterday. And what I'm gonna do with this is make a ceviche. I'd compare it a little bit to my mine, but it's good raw or cooked. But yeah, I'm gonna do a ceviche with it. Just real simple, lime juice, tomatoes, avocado, um, some cilantro, and some shallots in, in that. Mix that all together, eat that with tortilla chips. It's really good like that. 